Well, I thought I'd tell you a little today about the brown Swiss. I figured this might be the easiest place to do it. I got just getting ready to start milking. We got the mix in the parlor. The only thing I don't have in here is a short horn. I kind of showed them the other day. As you can see, size difference between brown Swiss and jerseys. And uh, size difference, they say they're about the same as a Holstein size wise. In fact, I think brown Swiss might actually be a bigger breed. Usually, you do see quite a few big brown Swiss cows. But this is basically them, the brown. But like I said, they can vary. Now, this is actually a cross. She's actually got some red Holstein in her. But a brown Swiss can actually, it might not be quite this black. But they, they can be dark. They vary from a light tan to a dark gray to black. And another distinct feature on the brown Swiss is the white ring around their nose. Of course, I think jerseys have it too, but it seems to be more profound on the brown Swiss. Even this one, you know, she's got a little bit of a ring. And yeah, that's the other thing I'd say about the brown Swiss. They're probably, in my opinion, the most docile breed. But like with any animal, you don't want to trust them. You know, you don't, don't turn your back on them and think they're not going to do nothing. But, you know, they are pretty, pretty calm, docile animal. Um... I don't know what else to really say about them, you know. They're my, they're the breed I like. I've always liked the brown Swiss. I just don't want a whole herd of them. And if you watched my last video, I don't know if anybody caught it. I did leave a note in the comments about it, but the one shorthorn I said was due in November. Well, it's not really possible for me to know that she's due in November because a cow has a gestation period the same as a human, nine months, nine days. And for that cow to be due in November, even, even if I bred her February 1st, she's not due until November 10th. So I wouldn't even know she's bred yet. I meant to say March. But that's the other thing about the brown Swiss. You know, nine months, nine days is kind of the standard they use. But brown Swiss are actually a longer gestation. It is not uncommon for a brown Swiss to freshen a week, and I've seen them up to two weeks after that nine months, nine day period. I mean, all breeds can, you know, they can be one way or the other, a couple days, or I mean, even up to a week, but uh, brown Swiss generally are more consistently later, significantly later, you know, a week to 10 days. I actually think they do say, um, Maybe like nine months, 12 days or something, maybe 15 days on a brown Swiss. Uh, it's actually all the brown Swiss in here, the one way over there at the headlock. So it's, she's half brown Swiss, half red Holstein. It's actually the mother of this one. So, but yeah, like I said, brown Swiss are fairly easy to identify. They're big and brown. The other thing, uh, to talk about maybe is how I actually got the brown Swiss breed. I never bought one. We never had, well, we had one years and years ago, but this line, all these brown Swiss are related. They all go back to the one cow in back in the early 80s when we used to breed cows with a bull. My dad would buy basically a mutt bull, you know, he'd get something crossbreed bull of some sort, a jersey, or some kind of beef breed bull to breed the heifers with, because they'd throw a smaller calf. And one bull he got that year, I said, we don't know what was in it, it was probably mainly beef breeds in it. But the one Holstein heifer had a calf with markings like this, 
but this color instead of the black. And that's the original cow because over the years, you know, we, shit, one, two years I know we bred her to a red Angus. And one year she had a bright red calf, and one year she had a solid tan calf like this. And I actually did milk her for two or three months. She didn't milk her very much. I mean, she took more after the beef side of her. But then I decided one time to breed her to a brown Swiss. And then I got that one cow that came out looking like a brown Swiss. And these here are at least, I say that one over there would probably be the, at least the third or fourth generation from that original cow. So this would be fourth or fifth. So like I said, these are like maybe up to six generations out from that original cow. But that's how I got the brown Swiss that I got. It was just from a Holstein cow, we bred to a mutt bull and just started breeding them brown Swiss after that and built the breed up from that. And like I said, now, right now I got, let's see, there's three, four, I got four milk in. That's a heifer calf there. I got this one's calf is out there yet, so that's six, seven, eight. And I guess I got eight heifers and I got two bulls. Because that's the other thing, the brown Swiss bulls don't bring much at the auction. You know, if a Holstein's bringing a hundred bucks, a brown Swiss will be fifty bucks. Because most guys really don't want them because, like I say, they, I've had them two months long trying to break them to a bucket to drink. And they just ain't the brightest breed. So a lot of guys don't want a monkey with them. But, like I say, they just big babies. Now, this one here, she doesn't like my wife. She just looks at her, and my wife will back away. But,. I don't know if this will show up any better, but <clears throat> it's going to show a little bit more of the variation color-wise they can be. You know, this one on the right here, she's pretty light tan in color. And you got this one's got a little more black mixed in her. These over here get a little more darker. But like I said, I think that right there is pretty much what the typical brown Swiss looks like. This is the breed book. This, this is the daughters of the bulls that we could use. I think they photoshopped these pictures too because I don't think any cow has a back that straight. I mean, they pose them and stuff, but I don't think you can get any cows back that straight. And these, these are what Ayrshires look like. I'm going to throw that in here. So they seem to be a brighter red color than what the shorthorns are. But they vary too. Like I said, that's what's hard to tell them. <clears throat> these red breeds apart. And they all look about, about the same. They get the same markings and stuff. So I think there's something else I wanted to say about the brown Swiss, but I don't remember. But, <clears throat> but yeah, I see this, this one's not a crossbreed. She's got Jersey and other stuff in her. And so, but I guess I'll end it there. I don't remember what else I was going to say about them. So, well, thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you later.